So you just booked your cruise and now it is time to start planning. Today we are going to share with you the biggest cruise hacks and tips that many of you have never heard of. What is up everyone? My name is Jordan. And I'm Jared. And this is JJ, JJ Cruz. Cruz. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. Today we are excited to be bringing you the industry's biggest cruise tips and hacks. Many of these are cruise tips and cruise tricks that you may not have heard before. So get your paper and pen ready because we're sharing our 20 cruise tips and cruise hacks that we think are a game changer for your upcoming cruise. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start with pre-cruise. When you're packing, what are some of the cruise hacks that we found are a game changer when packing for your cruise vacation? And the first one is making sure that your clothes aren't wrinkled or that collar doesn't get adjusted by putting up belt inside the collar. We all have to carry a belt with us because formal night, you know, you need a belt for that. But when you have that formal shirt and you don't want that collar to get wrinkled, go ahead and put a belt inside there and it'll help keep it nice and stiff. Next up, we're talking about shower hooks. <laughs> Why would you ever bring a shower hook on your cruise vacation? Many people bring large, really heavy magnetic hooks to put in the wall just to have additional places to hang things, especially when they're wet. Those metal hangers though can be quite heavy and often they don't work in the stateroom bathroom. So we have found shower hooks, either the circular ones or the S-shaped ones made of plastic, take up almost no extra weight in your luggage and can easily clip onto rods uh, throughout the stateroom to hang things like wet bathing suits, tank tops, and t-shirts when you're trying to dry those items. The next cruise hack is for all of those jewelry lovers out there that love to bring some fine jewelry on board their cruise. Use a pill container to make sure that your jewelry is separated so there's no kinks in some of those fine necklaces as well as tangles. We hate it when jewelry gets tangled up. Of course, you don't have to wear that jewelry on that Monday or Tuesday of the pill container, but it really keeps it nice and separate and organized for your cruise. This next tip is something that has come in very handy, especially in some of our cruises to Alaska, Iceland, or those places that can be quite muddy. Whenever you see a shower cap, grab it, save it from a hotel room or from the actual cruise room to use as covers for your shoes. If your shoes become muddy or dirty in transit, whether you're getting on the cruise or off the cruise, you can wrap those shower caps around the bottom of the soles of the shoes to keep them from getting your other clothes or items in your suitcase dirty. The next cruise tip we absolutely love and it's all about getting to your cruise cabin and not having your clothes, well, kind of musky. Have a dryer sheet put inside your suitcases and your clothes will stay smelling fresh, clean, or if there's a certain scent you love, it'll have that scent across the entire wardrobe meant for your cruise. <laughs> you can also put them inside of your shoes to keep the smelly shoes from stinking up the rest of the suitcase. If you bring a camera on your cruise vacation, this is a great tip, especially if something awful happens and that camera ends up in the lost and found. We always write out our actual physical address and contact information and take a picture of that so that it lives on the camera. Then if someone finds your camera and they're scrolling through your pictures, they can see this camera belongs to with your email address, phone number, and your home address. We've heard stories of people actually getting their cameras shipped back to them because they did this, and cameras are too expensive to be gone forever. So save yourself the trouble of having to worry about where your camera is and write down that and take a picture of it before you leave. Along with what Jordan just said, this can go in line with your cell phones as well. Not many of us carry digital cameras or camcorders with us anymore, but we all have our own cameras through our phones. 
So change your lock screen for your cruise to your contact information. We all know there's security protocols that you have to put a pin or a password in to get into your phone, but the lock screen is something that anyone can view at any time. So put an email address or maybe a name and contact info. So that way, if anyone picks it up, if you lose it, whether it's at shore or of course on board your cruise ship, they will know who it should belongs to and who it should be returned to. One more thing that we never step on a cruise ship without is an air freshener. And I'm talking about the small little air fresheners that you would normally put in your car. If you buy one of these, it can easily hang somewhere in your stateroom cabin and it can keep your cabin smelling fresh and nice. The cabin stewards do a great job of keeping it clean, but they can't always control the smells and odors that are coming from either your kids or your shoes or other items that might be in your suitcase. An air freshener will solve those problems very quickly and keep things smelling fresh. Just adding on there, we love the car air fresheners because they're lightweight and easy to store. You can put it in your backpack, maybe your purse, and it's not gonna add any extra space or room or weight to your luggage. A pro tip here though, don't go for the elaborate scents. Keep it nice and fresh and clean scents. We did the Hawaiian Breeze once and it was a little too much of a strong scent for the small space you have in those cruise cabins. Right before you step foot on the ship, there is something that we highly recommend doing, and that is taking a picture of all of your luggage. Whether you do this in the hotel room or the actual port before the porter takes away the luggage, this will help the cruise line in case your luggage gets lost. We've actually done this several times while traveling the world, and it's very helpful to those looking for that lost luggage in case anything ever happens. It's just a good tip, I think, in general when you're traveling, but especially before getting on a cruise ship. This is also necessary for insurance purposes. If you have actual insurance proof that you had luggage with you and it's no longer on the cruise ship, God forbid your luggage gets goes missing for long, whether it's on the flight or at the cruise. This is just something good to have with you at all times. So we do recommend to do this even before flying sometimes as well. Now those were all the cruise hacks. Before you get on your cruise ship, we're gonna talk about what are the cruise hacks while you're on board your cruise ship in a little bit. But first, comment below if you have anything that you pack that you think is a true cruise hack that a lot of people aren't aware of. We love to read the comments below and share with all of our cruise friends. While you're there, hit the subscribe button. We love the fact that we are able to cruise so much and share all of our cruise content with you all. It's free to you, means the world to us. And while you're there, please hit the thumbs up. It tells YouTube that you like this cruise content and want more of it. Once you actually step foot on the ship, the ship can be very difficult to navigate. Especially now in 2023, ships are just becoming larger and larger. So, how do you get around the ship? Something that most people don't realize is that the ship will have hidden or secret clues in terms of which direction you're going. For some ships, it's in the carpet. Like Disney, for example, will have stars pointing towards the front of the ship. For other ships, like Norwegian, they might be fish that are swimming towards the front of the ship. Ask your stateroom steward or your crew, or crew member on the ship what little tips and tricks there may be on board because most cruise ships have them they're a little bit hidden or subtle, but the faster you learn them, the easier you're gonna be able to get from point A to point B on your cruise ship. When you get inside your stateroom, a lot of us in this modern day and age need a lot things plugged into walls, whether it be outlets or USBs, and a lot of times cruise cabins don't have enough of them. It is commonly unknown that a lot of phones inside of staterooms have a USB port. So you can charge your phones or anything else that's connected to your USB a lot of times to those phones right next to your beds. This is a new cruise hack for us, but it's something that I think we're gonna try on our next cruise. And that is wake up with the sun, regardless of what stateroom you're in, including an inside stateroom. How do you do that? by turning on the bridge cam. At night, the bridge cam is gonna be completely black. You can mute it, but then as the sun rises, it's also going to get brighter on your TV screen. This is a great way to travel in an inside stateroom and wake up very naturally feeling refreshed from those many days at sea. And it's something that you can do with the press of a button. 
We know there are a lot of you out there that cruise with a lot of friends in one stateroom or a larger family, and shower time can get a little stressful. How are we gonna get everyone showered and cleaned up before dinner? Well, we highly recommend checking out the spa or even that of the locker rooms because a lot of times the upgraded amenities are there no matter what kind of stateroom you're in. So sometimes you might have just that soap and shampoo all in one in your personal shower in your cabin, but in the spa or locker rooms, you might have conditioner, all of the works that you may love to have because of course they want you to have the best spa experience possible. Everybody knows that unfortunately in 2023, we've seen the cruise industry cut back quite a bit on the food offerings in the main dining room. Some of the foods that you've loved for years and years are no longer there on the menu and you think to yourself, what am I gonna eat? Well, this is a hack that we've been practicing actually for quite a while. Most people don't know that you can ask your server to please bring you the daily Indian dish. Now, most chefs on cruise ships will have an Indian dish every single day for vegetarians or for other people that eat Indian food, and you are welcome to enjoy that dish or that food that is prepared for the day. It's something that Jared and I have found to be a healthier option, so it's helped us actually maintain our weight while on cruise ships, and the food tends to be really, really good. If you are a foodie like we are and are open to eating Indian food at dinner, Next time you're on a cruise ship, ask your server for the Indian dish and let us know what you think. God forbid the food just doesn't sit right because you get seasick while at sea. There are some common things that you can do that will really help your seasickness. Now cruisers swear by this first one and that is the fact of swimming. Actually going to the pool and being in the water, whether it's floating or actually doing some laps, there's something about moving with the water the same way that you would inside the water instead of on board the ship really helps with your inner ear to make it a little bit easier and less of a pain when you're rocking back and forth at sea. The next one is eating a green apple. There's something about green apples that we have found really helps and cures seasickness. So make sure when you get on board that cruise, you are able to maybe stock up with one or two apples in your stateroom. They have to be green apples. And when you start to see that the seas are rocking, maybe go ahead and go a chomping on <laughs> that green apple. When you're on a cruise and you're planning your excursions, something that we really like to do is look at Airbnb experiences. This is something found on the Airbnb app, and Airbnb actually takes local guides um, with very unique, often very small, intimate groups to extremely localized experiences within the community. We did this over in Europe and we had some of the best excursions we have ever had. And this is something that not a lot of cruisers know about or even do. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the tour lines up properly with your cruise schedule when you're in port, but we guarantee that if you do this, you're gonna find some things that you will not find offered on the ship or anywhere else. It's a great way to enjoy the port that you're in in that particular day. This next cruise hack is for the foodies out there and it isn't offered everywhere, but we found this very popular in Europe, especially in Italy, and that is using the Fork app which is a part of the TripAdvisor company to get discounted, highly discounted reservations for restaurants. We were able to eat an entire Florentine steak meal that should have cost us $65 per person, all the way at 50% discount to where we paid for two steaks for the price of one. That is all because in these other countries, a lot of times the times of eating is different there than it is for us in North America. That is usual. They eat a lot later. And so the great thing about that is there's open reservations all the time during the times that you are usually really ready to eat. We highly recommend Fork app for doing dining reservations where available. Of course, that's not gonna be everywhere, similar with Airbnb experiences, but when you find them, they're good and they are worth every penny. We have to take a moment to actually plug another video that we did. We did a video on the top 10 travel apps to use when traveling. Airbnb experiences as well as the Fork are on that list, but there's a bunch of other apps on that list that if you want some additional travel hacks and tips, 
go and watch that video. It will definitely give you some other apps to download on your phone before you start traveling. This next cruise hack is one we love because it's involving the crew. We love the crew on board our cruise ships. And a lot of people don't remember that they are the most knowledgeable local guides of anyone else on board because they go to some of these destinations all the time. So if you're ever wanting to find the best spot for Wi-Fi, ask one of the crew members and they are bound to know all the best spots for free Wi-Fi or the best quality of Wi-Fi while you're at your cruise port. The last tip here that I know many of you have taken advantage of is working with a travel agent. Jared and I are both travel agents and what people don't realize about travel agents is that often they can get deep discounts on cruises that you cannot see online. So if you're going and shopping directly with the cruise line on their website, you might see one price, but then your travel agent may be able to save you up to sometimes 500 or a thousand dollars off of the particular cruise that you're looking at. We're able to do this through group space. This is rooms that the travel agency has purchased in bulk that are offered at a lower price. So if you're looking to book your next cruise, of course, please reach out to us. You can go to jjcruise.com and contact us there to book that next cruise and we can see if we can get you a good deal. Those are our top cruise hacks. Please comment below what your thoughts are. If there are any other hacks that we didn't cover here today, while you're at it, remember to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. And until next time, see ya. See ya.